Upstate family is remembering their loved one tonight after he died in a tragic car accident yesterday. Carlos Flores spoke with the family of Nathan Webb about how they are keeping his memory alive. Carlos. Nigel Carroll, Nathan Webb's family says he was looking forward to spending the Thanksgiving holiday with friends and family, but he never made it to the table. God knows, you know, what he had in plan. I don't. And I loved him with all my heart. The 19-year-old was driving on Poplar Springs Road near Walhalla on his way to his neighbors to celebrate Thanksgiving. It really breaks his heart because he had everything ready for him to come over and he don't know how to handle it. Troopers say Webb's car went off the right side of the road, hit a mailbox, lost control, and overturned. The coroner says he was not wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from the car. He died at the scene. I want him back. <laughs> I want him back and I can't get him back because he's gone. And we just have to have the memories that he gave us. Webb's family says Nathan loved to hunt, fish, and was a bull rider. I tried to, you know, teach him values and enjoy life and, and be, try to be safe. And I, I hate the thing happened. Now that he's gone, his family hopes Nathan's story can encourage others not to put their life at risk for something that only takes a second. You never know when your life's going to end. You never know when something like this is going to happen. I mean, he was only 19. That seatbelt's there for a purpose, and I think a, a lot of people want to take advantage and think, I don't have to wear it. It only takes a second. Your life's gone. Now the family says tonight they held another Thanksgiving dinner as a chance for everyone to get together and remember Nathan. Nigel Carroll, back to you.